Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, three ways to measure or calculate an area in AutoCAD. Uh, this is a question I've gotten asked uh, quite a bit lately. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, three of the ways that I use on a regular basis to grab an area from a drawing. Uh, there are more ways in AutoCAD, but these are the three I've picked for today. So first up uh, is the area command. This one's straightforward and pretty simple. You can simply type in area and hit enter. In the default mode, it's going to ask you for the first point or corner point uh, of your area. And using the area command, you can just quickly map out the area you want to grab from your drawing. Uh, this makes it super quick, although not quite as accurate unless you want to spend the time uh, to specifically click around little corners and divots. Uh, so this is great to grab a general area from an entire room or a building. Uh, but some of the other ways I'll show you can be kind of shortcuts for specific areas. So when you've got your area selected, just hit enter. And you can see down at the bottom here, it's uh, given you your area and your perimeter. Uh, if you hit F2, you can bring up the AutoCAD text window, uh, full size, and see. So this is in square feet. Uh, and you can check your units uh, by using the DWG units command. Uh, this is also available in the drawing utilities as well as uh, you can type in units. Um, but you can see here uh, that it's in number two, which is feet. Uh, so your areas are gonna come in the square version of the unit that you're using. This one uh, in the example is in square feet. So you can bring up F2 again to go back and see your area you calculated. Once again, 315.25 square feet. Okay, so uh, one more feature of the area command before we move on to the next one is that you can also add objects, uh, add areas or subtract areas with uh, your selections as well. Just another way you can fine tune your area when you're looking for a calculation. Uh, the next command uh, isn't really even a command, it's more of just a really quick uh, trick to grab areas of different objects. Um, if you have an object that is closed, uh, like say this, I think this might be a shower in this building or something, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you have this closed pulling line. Uh, you can just bring up the properties, that's control one or right click and go properties. Uh, and see the uh, area directly in the properties. And this will update automatically uh, if you ever change your object. You can see it just went down from 20 to 18.6. And I'll just undo that and grab this again. So there you've got 20.7 square feet for the area inside this polyline. That one's super quick uh, and can be a major time saver. Uh, when you just have single objects and you're just quickly looking to find out what the area is. And then the last one uh, that I'm gonna show you guys is the list command. And this is similar. It simply lists out all of the properties of an object. Again, these are just three different ways you can use uh, or find an area of an object. Um, it doesn't mean any is right or wrong. It just means there's three different ways. Some people enjoy different ones. Each one has a different use. I like the list command. Uh, personally, if I'm trying to find out uh, a little bit more about an object, uh, so it'll give you your area. I selected this orange hatch here and then typed in list. And it's gonna show you your color, uh, the layer it's on, um, the type of hatch, if it's a hatch, uh, the area which is 423.97 square feet. Uh, you can also use the list command on any object. And in this case, I chose that line and it's gonna give you uh, the total length as well as the angle in the XY plane, as well as the coordinates of the endpoint. So that can come in handy for, for uh, other situations as well. So that's it for today's video. Uh, it's not really a two minute Tuesday. 
although uh, it's kind of a quick tip. Uh, I think I'm done doing those since I never made them under two minutes, so now I'm just gonna do tutorials as often as I feel like it, uh, as well as the coffee break videos uh, featuring tech, which I've got some new ones coming up that I hope you guys check out. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, check out the blog, cadintentions.com, and hit me up on Twitter if you guys have any questions you'd like to see answered in another video, at cadintentions. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here. Make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.